What is up, people? What is up? My name is TRSKSS, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. And in today's video, people, I'm going to be going ahead and talking to you guys about the Apple conference that happened today. Yes, guys, the Apple event happened, and I'm going to be breaking down all of the brand new stuff that they have coming to you on the iPhone 7, the AirPods, as well as the Apple Watch version 2, guys. They are all coming out very soon, and I'm here to go ahead and talk with you guys about what's going on. So people, as you guys can see right here, we have the Apple event. It looked pretty cool, but before I get further into this, if you guys can drop a like on the video and help this video get around, and if you guys happen to click on this video and you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, and let's go ahead and hit 500 subscribers, people. But now that we've shown off this, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the Apple Watch 2. All right, people, so the Apple Watch is going to feature Pokemon Go. Now, what that means is, I guess you guys can play Pokemon from your Apple Watch. I'm not really too sure how that's going to work, but that is going to be, like, the new type of Pokemon Go. So, no longer are people going to have to carry around their phones to play it. They can take their Apple Watch out, put it on their arm, and just flick and catch the Pokemon. Now, the Apple Watch is also going to have a redesigned speaker system that can eject water if it gets inside the watch. So as you guys can see, maybe this is the speaker right here, or maybe it's somewhere else. But I guess that this thing is going to shoot out water if there's going to be, like, water that gets inside the watch. Watch. So say you guys wash your hands and you get water in it, the speakers can shoot the water right out, and your speakers won't be damaged, and the watch won't be damaged as well. Now it also says that it has a GPS that has been built into the watch, so that's good for, like, tracking apps. If you guys have some of those apps to keep in touch with your families, that's good. And then it also says that the Apple Watch Series 2, which is what we're looking at, will be available for pre-order starting on September 9th, which is in two days on Friday. So that looks absolutely amazing, and the stuff that it has sounds absolutely amazing here. Now let's go ahead and get into this right here, people. So as you guys can see, this is a type of iPhone that we have never seen before. All right, people. So Apple has sold over 1 billion iPhones since the time that they first released them till today. Now this right here is the iPhone 7 as you guys can see it has like a different speaker down here and it has some cameras up there and like a different flashlight and like a different body design. It looks really really cool but here's some of the best things that it has. So the iPhone 7 is going to be dust and water resistant. Now if you guys didn't know most of the iPhones are not water resistant. If I were to go drop my iPhone right now into a tub of water there's a chance a very good chance that it might not ever work again because of the because of how the iPhone is designed. But Apple finally moved on to where Android is and where Samsung is and finally decided to make their phones dust and water resistant and it adheres to the IP67 rating. Now the iPhone 7 also has a 7 MP FaceTime HD camera along with an all new 12 MP rear camera. So this is the rear camera right here. It has two different cameras and it's going to be offering 12 megapixels, which is really, really cool. And then it talks about how the iPhone 7 Plus has a dual camera setup at the back. <clears throat> right here, as you guys can see, both are 12 megapixel modules with one being wide angle and the other telephoto. Then it says the iPhone 7 comes with stereo speakers, one each at the top and the bottom edge of the display. Now, people, the next thing that we have here about the iPhone 7 is that it's going to be starting at $649. Now, that is a lot of money. But, people, it's going to have a brand new stereo system. It's going to have a bunch of cool new stuff. And instead of the traditional 16, 32, and 64 gigabytes, Apple has upgraded and will now be offering 32 gigabyte, 128 gigabytes, and 256 gigabytes of internal storage on the iPhone 7. Now they do have the iPhone 7 right here as well as the iPhone 7 Plus that are both going to be coming out and I'm not sure when the exact release dates of those are but I know that you guys can start to pre-order those pretty soon here. Now the next thing that I want to go ahead and showcase to you guys is actually the Apple AirPods which are really cool because as you guys know you have the lawn like cords that you have to see like right here this is a lawn cord that you guys have to untangle every single time you want to listen to music and things like that but no longer will you have to do that 
with these new AirPods right here. So they don't look exactly like this, they look more like this, as you guys can see. But they are really, really cool because they're basically just Bluetooth speakers that connect to your phone and it just plays your music from right in there. So as long as you guys have these, then you guys don't really have to worry about like getting your music to play and stuff like that. So they're really, really cool. It's a great move by Apple to go ahead and do that. I think that it's going to really help them with like people that are losing their earbuds and stuff. And I know that there is stuff that you guys want to be like fixed. And so they're going to release iOS 10 that increases like security with brand new apps and things like that. iOS 10 is going to be going from the iPhone 5 all the way up into the 7 Plus. So if you guys have any of those phones, then you guys can go ahead and download that update without having to upgrade. Anyways, people, I really hope that you did enjoy today's video, and I hope that you guys learned something that you probably didn't know about the iPhone 7. I think it's going to be a pretty cool phone. I'm probably not going to get it just because it's $649, and I really don't have all that money just sitting around here to buy that brand new phone. I have a 5S, which works just fine. So, guys, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. This is TRSKSS, and I'll see you later on. Peace.